Your is no call like you, Jesus. To be here, yes, my coffee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bigia Yesu Makovi Achu. Bigia Yesu Makovi. Tiba Yuda.
Sasa bwana umwambie rasa hili asubuhi ya leo Mwambie rasa hili utukufu na sifa zote ni zake Father we give all the glory Father we give all the honor We bow before your presence this morning Jehovah God We just give all the praises we just seek all the honor Jehovah Father For sure you have been so faithful You have been so merciful oh God You have been so good to us this morning Thank you Jehovah Father for this morning Jehovah God We just pray for thy forgiveness, O oh God. We are not worthy to stand in your presence, Abba Father. We are not worthy to call upon your name this morning. We are not worthy, Jehovah God, to give praises and worship unto thee, O oh God. This morning, Jehovah Father, we pray that you may forgive us, that you may cleanse us of our iniquities, O oh God. That you may see our glory, Jehovah Father. That you may see us looking over all the glory. Oh God, make us worthy this morning, Jehovah God. Make us worthy, Jehovah Father, to call upon your name, oh God. Over the glory and honor of your name.
morning our hearts are full of gratitude our hearts are full of thanksgiving our hearts are full of praises oh god as we gather here lord to thank you for what you have done into our lives as we gather here lord to say indeed jehovah you have done it for us may you receive all the praises this morning may you receive all the glory because you are good we have all the reason to adore you this morning we have all the reason to say god you have been faithful into our lives oh jehovah we thank you king of glory you are the greatest oh lord in our lives we acknowledge your goodness in our lives we acknowledge what you have done in our lives oh god we acknowledge your favors oh lord we acknowledge many things that lord we have done into our lives, O oh God. May you receive all the glory this morning. May you receive honor, O oh Jehovah. My Father, if you are to boast, we, we boast because we know you, God, as our God. If we boast, Jehovah, we boast because you have saved our lives and we acknowledge you as our God, O oh Jehovah. May you be exalted, O oh King of oh glory. You are seated on the throne of this morning, O oh Jehovah, as we gather here as a church jehovah to say jehovah you have been faithful all through up to this far lord we have seen your heart upon us oh god may you be exalted oh lord receive all the glory this morning receive honor oh jehovah receive adoration this morning oh king of glory our hearts are full of joy oh lord because you are our god our full our hearts are full of joy because you have done it for us oh my father many are the blessings oh god the lord we can attain in our lives, Jehovah. We can attest, talking all glory of your doings in our lives. May you be exalted this morning. We came this morning, dear Lord praying that you may rest our lives this morning. Praying that you may forgive us our sins, our iniquities, O oh Lord. The sins that are separating us from you, Jehovah. May you forgive us this morning, O oh Lord. May you bring us back to you this morning as a church, O oh Jehovah. Many are the things that can separate us from you, dear Lord. Many are the things that, Jehovah, that can separate us from you, Jehovah. If we sin against you, Lord, we get separated separated from you and dear Jesus this morning we see we are sinners dear Lord and we desire to get back to you this morning as a church we desire to get back to you dear Lord may you forgive us as a church dear Lord may you cleanse us this morning as we give you our offering this morning may you accept it Jehovah dear Lord this is our prayer this morning we pray God that your power come down this morning and may it has the very point of our needs, O Lord. Many are the desires that we have, Jehovah. Everybody who has come in through that door, Jehovah, has a different desire. We have requests in our hearts, O God. Many have come with burdens, O Jehovah. And this is the place we are going to leave our burdens, O Jehovah. We thank you, dear Lord, my Father and my God. Come and set us free this morning from diseases that might be untangling us, O oh Lord, from sins that might be untangling us, O oh Jehovah, from the difficulties that might be untangling us, O oh Lord. May you come and set us free, dear Lord. We pray, God, that you may reign in our lives, Jehovah. Mwathani Jesu, tuwe rili ya kurathi muanewe, Jehovah. Nige dhona o matu, wana makaigane maturi ya rathi meke. Ni todo tu itaneti onare tu are a kuwa wa mothigu tu are a muathani Jehovah. The Lord you may attend to us this morning. May your presence attend to us this morning. May your masses which are new every morning, O King of Glory. May we attend experience your masses this morning may we experience your grace which is always sufficient talking oh, all oh, glory Jehovah Father we thank you because the Bible says a prayer of a righteous man availeth much oh God and these people they have different prayers talking oh, all oh, glory Jehovah Lord may you meet us at the needs of our hearts oh Lord may you meet us at the very point of our needs this morning 
as families, Lord, we stand here that, Lord, you come and have tear to our needs this morning. You come and see us through Jehovah. We thank you, God, because of your faithfulness, oh Lord. We believe and we know, God, your presence is right here with us. Your presence is right here with us, Lord. Your spirit is right here with us. And that's why our hearts are joyful, Lord, because we know, God, in this place, we are going to have an encounter with you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, King of Glory. We give you honor and praise, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for the families this morning. We thank you, God, because you are God who loves family. You are God of families, oh Jehovah, and you love it when families are together. We know devil is at work to bring down families, oh Lord. We know devil is at work to split families, oh King of Glory. But this morning we declare and decree Jehovah. It doesn't matter how the devil is working hard. But you want to assure him this morning, families are going to stand in the name of Jesus. Families are going to stand in the name of Jesus. Meshia itonera aro gama theine wale tuare a Jesu. The wa matuine to kaiga shia na shito na korue Jehovah. We know God, the values and the virtues, Jehovah, King of Glory. The values are getting corrupt every day, Jehovah. No to kaiga terere muathani. Shia na shito to go shida mathagwine ma. May you continue to guide and help them, O oh Jehovah. There is no power that will prevail upon their lives by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no power that is going to prevail in the lives of our children, but the power and the blood of Jesus Christ will prevail. Even at this time, we are hearing of so many things, O oh God, about LGBTQ and so many other things, King of oh Glory. To Jehovah, that these children will succeed and they'll go in the right way. They'll go as, the, as per the Bible in the name of Jesus. In our midst, we have our children, O King of Glory, those who are looking for jobs, O my Father. Mother Nijesu, may you attend to them, O King of Glory. We pray for your divine connection this morning, O Jehovah. May you favor them in the name of Jesus. You are God, our provider. You are God, our connector. You are God, our everything, O Jehovah. And this morning, O King of Glory, we pray for those youths who could be looking for jobs, O God. We pray for the youths who could be looking for their life partners, O Lord. May you connect them, O King of Glory. As per the word of God, O King of Glory, we speak the word and the power of God in their lives in the name of Jesus. To those who are in colleges, O King of Glory, may your power prevail in their lives, O King of all glory. To those who are in school, in boarding schools, Jehovah, may you continue to hide them in the blood of Jesus Christ. We speak your blessings upon them, O Lord, my Father and my God. We know once the family stand, the church will stand and the nation will stand, O King of glory. So we speak your blessings upon the families this morning. We declare and decree the the families are blessed of the Lord. We declare and decree, Jehovah, that there is the power of God that will continue to work in the families in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, because of our churches, oh God, my Father and my God, we know Jehovah, you are restoring your spirit in the church. Mother Nijesu, it doesn't matter how the, the, the church has been tarnished, oh God, but we know Jehovah, you are power and the heart is at work, oh God, and you are still going to come through and restore in the name of Jesus. We speak the power of God upon the church, oh Lord. We are not going back, oh Jehovah, but rather we are going to press on, oh God, until we get to the mark in the name of Jesus. May you continue to walk through them in the name of Jesus. May you continue to instill your power in them, oh God. May you continue to instill your power, your insight, your knowledge, your King of glory in them, that they may continue to serve and to 
to serve you in the right way king of glory like a mother ni matikana how take a mother we know sometimes it become hard it becomes hard oh god but when you are in the throne jehovah you are going to enable them oh king of glory thank you jehovah we thank you and we worship you thank you because of our nation this morning everlasting father we know how things are currently are oh god but we know father you know you are still at the throne oh god and you know all these things oh jehovah but we know father we shall emerge conquerors oh lord we shall be victors in the name of jesus and peace of god will prevail in our country in the name of jesus the power of god will prevail in our country in the name of jesus may you come through for our country in the name of Jesus we know there are many challenges here and there we know there are many challenges here and there lord many are sick oh king of glory to those who are sick spiritually oh my father may you restore them in the name of Jesus to those who are sick spiritually oh king of glory may you heal them in the name of Jesus everlasting father we know economically things are not okay jehovah but god we believe in you we believe in what you can do jehovah and lord we are still trusting and believing in you in the name of jesus thank you father king of glory as we continue with the service oh god jehovah father we are waiting to see you father we, we, we desire to have an, an encounter with you this morning we desire to have an experience with you this morning in the name of jesus we give you honor and praise in jesus name we pray oh father Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful cold morning. But uh, in all situations, we give thanks to God. I want to give us this opportunity this morning to say hi to our neighbors. Salimia Jirani, at least uh, so that you don't end up sitting next to a, to a stranger. Uh, so it's good to say hi so that you can keep on feeling comfortable as we uh, continue with today's service. Uh, we are going to start our service today uh, with hymn number 701, I Become to Jesus. Let's stand for our hymn. Uh, praise team. I belong. Jesus. Thank you. 
but she came and knelt before him saying Lord help me and he answered it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs she said yes Lord yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table let's sit down we are going to have our presentations and we are going to have the following order we are going to start with Shiloh district followed by the youth uh, we are going to have Catherine and then we are going to finish with the choir so wana Shiloh karibuni sana Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a
appreciate them better. Youth.
you, uh, Shilo and the youth. Now let's go to Catherine Jerobia. Let's appreciate her better. Tunaomba ya kwamba in the that God is going to bless her in a great way. That uh, she will be a great singer from today henceforth. Amen? Uh, let's now have the choir.
Asanteni sana wanakoe wetu. Bwana wabariki. Uh, I want us to appreciate all of us who have uh, participated in our presentations today. Asante sana. We are now going to go to the part of intimations and announcements by Elder Jogona. vile vile tumpigieni bwana makofi ah ninachukua ninachukua nafasi hii kwa karibisha nyinyi nyote katika jumba la bwana and i extend special welcome to our first time visitors are you there and it is your first time worship with us at PCA Goshen is it your first time Mimi ni mkono tafadhali iweze kukutambua iweze kukujua hata na zaidi kama sisi wote wenyeji tujisikie tukiwa huru katika nyumba ya Bwana ni asante sana elder Lucy Lucy ni wetu sivyo Tumwambiaje Arudi Ah <laughs> Lucy bado twakupenda we ni mmoja wetu Elder Lucy na siku ya leo ndio mhubiri wetu Mungu akubariki Shilo district uh, is on duty today uh, the Christian Education Committee will be on duty coming Sunday kwa hivyo na Christian Education wajitayarishe we are once again reminding all groups to review their 2022-2023 work plans and prepare work plans for the upcoming 2023-2024 church calendar year. The new work plans should be handed in to the LCC secretary by 13th August as earlier agreed. Kwa hivyo vikundi vyote viongozi wote tafadhali mketi do the necessary and i'm expecting those work plans by 13th because as we agreed we would want to have them ready before the 30th uh, of september we want this time to have a harmonized calendar of events as early as possible we shall hold our monthly lcc meeting coming Sunday the 30th July after the second service groups to prepare their reports and requests the women's guild office announces the following a there shall be a seminar for all followers that shall be commissioned in the women's guild into women's guild on set in the women's guild on saturday the 29th july uh, 2023 starting 9 a.m at pca kinyata road so all followers should be seated by 9 uh, on the day of 29th uh, at pca kinyata road for the seminar to start b there shall be an educative seminar for all women's guild members and followers on the 5th of august 2023 at pca kinyata road C, the seminars are organized in preparation of the guild members commissioning uh, day or activity on 13th of August uh, this year. The deacons leadership is thanking all that attended the deacons meeting yesterday morning. Out of the meeting, a program for deacons service in church was drawn as follows. Today, the deacons on duty are from Bethlehem district. Uh, 30th July, that is coming Sunday, Berea deacons will be on duty. The 6th August uh, uh, will be Shiloh 
13th August will be Trinity and 20th August will be Umoja. Then the cycle repeats itself after the 20th. Kwa hivyo haya ndio yalikuwa makubaliano yetu jana katika huo mkutano and uh, for those for all deacons we are aware what is expected of us and for those who've been ushering for those who've been uh najua kuna wale ambao wamekuwa kipeana bahasha sio kusema bahasha tunaziondoa mikononi mwao ama ushers wenye wamekuwa hawatakuwa nafanya kazi yao lakini watakuwa nafanya kazi wakishirikiana na wale deacons watakuwa juti so i'm saying that so that we don't get a conflict mtu aseme kazi yangu imechukuliwa kama ulitumwa na Mungu tuliagana ya kwamba kama kuna mtu hapa ametumwa na Mungu akafanye jambo lolote na liko kwa roho yake alifanye PCA church believe in priesthood of all saints you can all serve in the church unaweza kuwa uko na talent unaweza kuwa uko na mwito but it's only a matter of collaboration with the deacons and we also did say that we shall be issuing the envelopes as people enter and if you would so wish and which is the best practice when you are preparing for your tithe for example coming sunday pick an envelope today go do um, prepare and come with it on the following sunday like if you picked an envelope today knowing that you'll be tithing next sunday you take an envelope today you even pray for it because we've been uh, we've noticed that uh, when we start distributing the envelopes late just at the time when mwenye uh, naongoza uh, tithes and offering tunapoteza muda na tafuta kalamu you know and then as the call is uh, rather when uh, when uh, when the leader of that program is calling people sasa hizo unaona mtu ndio anafanya ile kazi na anachelewa pale so it's good practice as you come in unapewa bahasha kama uko umejitayarisha wiki iliyopita lakini pia it's even best when you prepare well in advance kwa hivyo ukiona unapewa bahasha pale ama kuna mtu amesimama pale na bahasha ukiingia tafadhali prepare yourself uh, so and then we say that Bernard and Grace Karioki's wedding preparation meeting will take place today at their home in Chai Estate starting 5 pm we are all requested to attend to asaidie wale ndugu zetu uh, Bernard and Grace Karioki ku tayarisha rusi yao ambayo itakuwa tarehe 27 mwezi ujao Berea district will hold its weekly fellowship at Mr and Mrs Sharago's home Berry Street Paradise Estate today starting 4 pm let's all be punctual to allow time for other activities wana Berea tafadhali tuende mapema unasikia baadaye kuna pahali tunatakikana ni vizuri tujiunge na wale wengine kwa hivyo we shall have a talk an open discussion so be there to participate <clears throat> and i'm going to read a marriage ban this is a marriage ban there is a purpose of registering and blessing a marriage of marriage between sami mwaura muhongi and esther wamboi mwangi of pca kenyatta road church kenyatta road parish if there is anyone present here in aware of any lawful impending impediment to this marriage let him or her declare it if there is no valid objection raised the wedding will be ceremonized on saturday the 12th of august uh, this year 2023 at pca kenyatta road church starting 10 a.m. in the morning this is the first reading may almighty god bless the marriage of his servants you are in the lord's vineyard Uh, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga the parish minister Santeni kwa kunisikiliza barikiwe uh, thank you elder 
uh, for that part. Now we are going to go to the part of prayer for children uh, led by Elder Moses Moge. And all the time? And that is in nature. Bwana sifiwe. Watoto karibuni tuombe nanyi. I'm glad this morning to be in the presence of God and to be to see you all of you. I have the joy of salvation in my heart. Bwana sifiwe. Watoto karibuni Read your Bible every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to If you want to grow, if you want to grow read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow Karibuni watoto tuombe na nyinyi kanisa tusimame So stand Yes, so stand walimu wasimame nyuma yao We are going to make a prayer of faith but before we do that who is going to lead us in confessing what we believe in and tell us your name eh? my name is Anderson Jerry Muhoro I believe in God the Father of mighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ also, also of the Lord, who was crucified by the evil spirit born of the Virgin Mary suffered as a source of spirit was crucified dead and buried he decided into hell. In the that day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father of mighty. From there he shall come back to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you very much. Tumpigie makofi. The youth members who are there, please join the children. We make a common prayer. Wanarika, tupadhali. And uh, we are so much grateful to be, for you to be part of us for making that uh, right decision to come to church. Next time, come with a friend. Sindio? Sindio? Next time, come with a friend. You, not that neighbor you know, that schoolmate you know. Sindio? So much great. Let us pray. Almighty, never Father, we are grateful this morning for the gift of this generation, the young generation, my father, to be part of us. Today, my Father, in today's service, we glorify your holy name, my Father, because, my Father, indeed, you have promised, what you have promised, my Father, you have given unto us, that this kingdom belongs to us and our children. Thank you, my Father, for giving in them, my Father, that wisdom, that, that, that wisdom, my Father, to be part of the worship service. We glorify your name, my Father. This morning, my Father, we join together with them. We say, there is none like you, King of Four Glory. We pray, my Father, for the young children, for the infants, King of Four Glory, even for the unborn, Jehovah, King of Four Glory. We pray, my Father, even for the youths, King of Four Glory, those who are in high school, maybe they are not together with us here, they are in school, those who are in colleges and university, King of Four Glory, those who have finished school, my Father, those who are looking for a job, those who are newly employed, newly married, those who are looking for their life partners, dear Lord, my Father. The, 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 the prayer items are many and diverse, King of Oglory. But we know, King of Oglory, you know them all, Jehovah Lord. 
How we pray, my Father, King of all, we are going to bless them, my Father, and make them, my Father, to be more closer to you, my Father, and to walk, my Father, together as a church, as a family, dear Lord, King of all. We thank you and we glorify your holy name, my Father. There could be others who are sick in the hospital, their children who be sick, my Father, in the hospital. May you remember them, King of all. Glory. There could be children maybe who are lacking basic needs. They are in the streets, King of all. Glory. Maybe you are, sometimes we are living in hard economic times. Some are living in, in, in hardship, my Father. May you remember all those families, King of all. Glory. We thank you because you are going to remember your, the children, all of them, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Lord. Bless our youth. Bless PC Goshen youth. May the, the, the fellowship of the youth service be a wellspring, my Father, for many. May it, may, may it invite more and more to be together in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Lord. We thank you. We glorify your holy name, my Father. For this our prayer of faith, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, as uh, the children are leaving for their program, uh, maybe a reminder uh, from what we have uh, has been announced to us concerning Sunday. Uh, we are going to have one service starting from 9 a.m. Now that we are going to have the OCC meeting, so Sunday to Nanza Satatu. Uh, we are now going to go to the part of uh, hearing the word of God. Uh, we are going to have uh, the readings. The first reading will come from the book of Genesis, chapter number 27, from verses 30 to 40. Uh, it will be read by John Mwaniki. And then the second reading will come from the book of Genesis, chapter number 33, from verse 1 to 10. To be read by Elizabeth Jeroge. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God, Judge Again. Amen. My name is Ajo. And if we are there, we can continue. After Isaac, after Isaac finished blessing him, and Jacob and Scary left his father's presence, his brother Esau came in, in from hunting. He too prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. Then he said to him, My father, please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your blessing. That too. His father Isaac asked him, Who are you? I am your son, he answered. You are firstborn as how. Isaac trembled violently and said, who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came and I blessed him. And indeed, he, he will be blessed. When Esau and his fathers once, he burst out with a loud and a bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, me too, my father. But I say, he said, Your brother came deceitfully and took, and took your blessing. As I said, 
isn't he rightly named Jacob? This is this is the second time he took he has taken advantage of me. He took my birthright and now he is taken he has taken my blessing. Then he asked, Haven't you deserved any blessing for me? That seven. Isaac answered Esau. I have made him lord over you and have made all his relatives his servants and I have sustained him with grain and new wine. So what can I possibly do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Do you have only one blessing, my father? Bless me too, my father. Then Esau wept aloud. That night, his father Isaac answered him, you are, Your dwelling will be always up will be away from the earth's richness, away from the dew of heaven above. What to Kimalisia? You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother, but when you grow restless, you will throw a yoke from from of your neck. That's the wonder of God. God bless you. Genesis 33, verse 1 to 10, and I will read. Uh, Jacob looked up, and there was Esau coming with his 400 men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two female servants. He put the female servants and their children in front, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He himself w went on ahead and bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? he asked. Jacob answered, They are children God has gr graciously given your servant. Then the female servants and their children approached and bowed down. Next, Rhea and her children came and bowed down. Last of all came Joseph and Lecho, and they too bowed down. Esau asked, What is the meaning of all these frocks and hearts I, meet, I met? To find favor in your eyes, my Lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have plenty, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. First then, no priest, said Jacob. If I have found favor in your eyes, accept this gift from me. For to see your face is like seeing the face of God. Now that you have reached me favorably. God bless you. Thank you, our readers. We are now going to have our preparatory hymn, hymn number 515, Take My Life and Let It Be. Praise him.
hearts, our minds, and our souls, and our bodies that we may be able to worship you, King in glory. We thank you and we worship your name because you remain God and you remain faithful unto us, Jehovah Master. Thank you even for all the benefits according to the book of Psalms 103 that you have given us. We are not complaining, Jehovah Father, but we worship you and glorify your holy name and adore you. We thank you because you have given us every gift, Jehovah God, that is needed today. Thank you for thy mercies. Thank you for thy love. Thank you for thy care. Thank you for thy protection. Thank you also, Lord Almighty, for the gift of this day, a day, Lord, that we have never seen, a day, Lord, that we have never lived. But because you have lived it, dear Master, may you come and take preeminent Jehovah, my Father. May you come and take over, O Lord. And I will ask for thy forgiveness of all the sins that we have done against you. Come and cleanse our hearts, O God Almighty. It will be according to thy will. Come and clothe us with your will and your righteousness, Jehovah Master. King in glory, speak to each and every one of us this morning. Encourage the heart, O dear Father. Give the heart a hope, O God Almighty. That as we come out of this place, we will be blessed of thee. Thank you because you remain God, you remain faithful, and you remain forever. As I am left before, by thy people, Jehovah God, by thy servant standing before thee. Use me. Send me. I'm just a messenger, Jehovah. And you are the message, King in glory. Let us hear from thee. We invite your Holy Spirit to speak to each and every one of us. And this is our prayer of faith. In the mighty name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and believe. Amen. We may have our seats. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord, church. If you can see me, you can wave me, but don't tell me goodbye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I am Lucy Wamwea. I am saved by the Lord and the grace and the mercies of the Almighty this morning. I thank God because he has taken care of me. I'm not boasting, but I want to boast because he is the root that is holding me. So here we are today, and I know each and every one of us, we are expectant, but we, I know God is going to speak to each and every heart. Ambio yo mwingine ji andai. Mwambie tena ji andai. Unajua kwa nyumba ya Bwana dio sijui kwa nini it's like ni kama tunafosiwa to say something. Sijui kwa nini kwa nyumba ya Mungu ndio utakuta watu wamenyamaziana. Ama wanaangaliana is like I, I where have I seen you? When I saw Sifiwe. Ebu muge uku ya basi umulise. Where have I seen you? Praise the Lord. When I saw Sifiwe. Tell him or her. Be happy of a small beginning. Be glad of a small blessing. Be glad of a little faith like a mustard seed. Now we come to the text. Today is the day that the Lord has made that he, is, he will be able to bless each and every one of us. Because if you are not going to be blessed, then you did not come to the house of the Lord. Uliza huyo mwingine, Yesu wakikuja. Atajua uko uko? We do wish you are register that you are here. Because if Christ can come right now, can he register that we are here? Can he register that we are representing him? Can he register 
and know that we are his ambassadors. Because when Christ needs to register about your presence, that is when your relationship is with God is at par. I wanted to start the sermon and think about the word that we have read. And I thank God for them that have read. They have read it very well. And we know that God is going to speak to each and every one of us. And God is going to speak and give us hope where there is no hope. Tell the other one, God is going to give us hope. If you came on that door when you have a lot of hopelessness, just be encouraged. God is going to get you out of there with hope. Sometimes we summonize someone yeah? about Esau selling his birthright for a bowl of soup. Just a bowl of soup, Esau has said who sold his birthright, exchanged his birthright, and yet to forget that even the Israelites also complained of Egypt's cucumber. We are also complaining of God's presence. Not Esau, not the Israelites, but ourselves. We are complaining of each and everything God has created. We have become complainers. And yet we are blaming Esau for selling his own birthright, for selling his future. Praise the Lord. Esau sold the birthright, and he thought it was, it was okay selling the birthright. I don't need it right now. And from the text that we have read, Esau is negotiating the birthright with, her, with his brother. And if you can remember when they were being born, the, the older brother, the younger brother will become your slave. He will lead the, younger bro the older brother. That is what happened. But Esau did not even think about the birthright or the consequences of selling his birthright. Tell the, the neighbor, retain your birthright. Retain your spiritual birthright. And my message today is written or titled, Just One Blessings. Baraka moja tu. Ikiwa kwa mkono wa mungu, siyo kabaraka. It's a blessing. Bwana isu wa sifiwe. And when Esau was negotiating his birthright, we can read the story and we know the story. We have heard the story from everyone else. But today I want us to focus on one, this one blessing. A one blessing which looks like or seems like which sound like not a blessing at all. But when it was in the hands of the Father, it became a blessing. So we need to have the connection with the Father. We need to retain the spiritual blessing that we may be able to get a bigger blessing later. But nice was if we it's also the bad right negotiated because of a bowl of stew or a cup of soup or whatever that you can call it. You can send your bad rights or exchange your bad rights, negotiate your bad rights with Satan for any pressure of the world. But remember, one day, one time, whatever that you negotiated, it will catch up with you one day. When then you go show. When I was a few weeks ago, I was Ni sababu tumesahau we have been given a birthright forever. But we are here proud that I exchanged my birthright and here I am after 20 years it will never come back to me. It was lost. And when, when the time for the Isaac to bless Esau 
That is when he realized. That is when it creaked what he did. And the Bible continues to say, when he went to the father, what he did, he just wept. He broke down. He was hopeless. He hated himself for selling his own birthright. I want us to put ourselves in the shoes of a sow. He was so happy when he was eating the soup or drinking or taking whatever the stew. And sometimes we sell our birthright because of one plate of food. But the Bible tells me, food for the, food for the berry and berry for the, for the food. But God will destroy them both. God will destroy them both. Here is a sow. And sometimes we become comfortable with what we have. Then we forget what we will get later. Sometimes we become comfortable with where we sit. And yet we forget where we will be. And when the devil comes and starts negotiating with you, you are very close to him to negotiate 99%. When I say, if you will, and be you mean, Uchunga, you see, you may watch your percent more than a Satan. I'm a woman at your Satan, percent more. Let me give you a story. When Satan wants to negotiate with you, he doesn't want to negotiate 80% for himself. He just wants to negotiate a little percent, a small percent, because he automatically knows if you, if you have already agreed to negotiate the 1% or 20% to him, the rate of 80%, he will automatically get it. So don't negotiate with the enemy. Not even a single person. Because when the devil is, the devil is so cunning. He will sit down with you. He will negotiate with you. Okay, how much do you want? Now, na mwambi ya nataka 80%. Na kwambi ya sawa. Na ya na kwambi ya chukua. Wanaisi wa sifuwe. Just take. Because he has already know the game is over. And this is how Esau was negotiating because he didn't know the game was over. And when the devil comes to you and start negotiating 80%, unwe sema 80% ni kidogo. Ungesa ingine. Then he says, chukua 90%, I'm okay. Because he already know utabakisa kamoja diyo mupendane. Mwanda ni agosu? Ero siyo gedoni negotiate with the enemy. Esau negotiated with his brother. And the time came for the blessing of Isaac to be given to his sons. And here I am scared of the mother. Because he also sold an evil thought to the son that is Jacob. And when Jacob was told by the mother, this is what Isaac and his son, Esau were talking about, they schemed together to tell a lie to the father. Let us think and think and think when the blessing of God is coming to us. And then think about what did we negotiate? What did we lose? What is that small blessing that the Lord is holding for me that I can use to become a better person tomorrow? They negotiated everything now, remember, the name Jacob is cunning, a trickster, a liar. From the beginning, he was a trickster, a liar, and everything else. Now he has come for the second time to lie to his father that he is Esau. He lied to Esau, he took his birthright, now he has come again. He has taken the blessing, a blessing that was negotiated, 
and the sow has forgotten. After many years, maybe 20 years, it has catch up with the sow of what negotiation that he has made. A mistake, a big mistake that he has done long time ago has surely catch up with him. And it will deal with him. And that is how we do things as Christians. There are mistakes that we made. And yet we are just sitting there and you feel like I am comfortable. It has not been forgotten. It will catch up with us one day. It will come to us one day. And it will speak to us. Praise the Lord, church. I want us to be given that tax. But Jacob said, swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, setting his birthright to him. There was a covenant. There was a negotiation. Kulikuwa na agano ilikuwa imewekwa. Na ile agano ilikuwa imewekwa, haikuwa agano tu, ilikuwa ya agano ya usariwa. What have you lost? What maybe have been taken away? When Esau came to Jacob for the blessing, my son go and just look for a game meat and bring it to me. That I may be able to eat and bless you. But instead of Esau coming, here comes again Jacob looking smelling like Esau. You know, sometimes there are things that unaona mtu amejifananisha na wewe. Lakini here, we can see not only looking alike character, but this trickster is very smart. And Esau was like, I have come with the game meat. Father, wake up and eat. And who had I breast before? Who has come that I have breast him? But Esau has already, the Bible is talking about scarcely left. He has scarcely left the priest. Esau entered and it was like, here I am my father. Eat and give me my blessing. He, this one was like, it was not, he didn't know the 20 years negotiation is now coming to talk to him. And when he is talking about wake up and bless me, he has no idea what was coming. And the father was there scared because the father was so scared. She was shaking. He was shaking because whom have I blessed? And whoever have, I have breast, I have breast. Biyo mingine, baba kikubariki, amekubariki. And the blessing will not be taken away because the father has already done. If God has blessed you, it will never be taken away. But Esau also became scared. He was angry, yes, and he has to be angry. He had all the right to be angry. Because Esau, Isaac, or Jacob have defeated him twice or have negotiated his life twice. And that is why he says, it's not his name, Jacob. It's not his name, a trickster. It's not his name, a raya. Have somebody ever lied to you? Have somebody ever tricked you? And you are still calling that person till today. Just put that person down and start working on your life. Because when you start working on your life, then you forget what that person did to you. No matter how many years it has taken, and you'll be able to move on. And this is what Esau was told by the father Isaac. And he was told, I have blessed your, son, your brother. 
and he will become your master. The same story has already repeated itself. Because of the, a foolish negotiation, because of a foolish idea, maybe Esau was in prosperity. And here God is encouraging us not to be comfortable in whatever or wherever we are. And they negotiated and Paul, now the issue has come. I want to encourage one of us. Maybe you have felt somebody has defeated you. Somebody has taken whatever that belonged to you. Your husband has left you. Your wife has left you. But there is another blessing in the hearts of the Almighty. It might not be a big blessing. It might not be a great blessing. But God has a blessing for each and every one of us. No matter how rich it is, it is still a blessing. Kama umeka hapo na ugo kanisa. What we are praise and worship. The literal anointing God has anointed you with. Don't despise it. It is in the hands of the Almighty. And it will become bigger and better as you continue to be uncomfortable with it. The blessing of Esau was taken by Jacob, his, his brother. And Esau was told by the father. We can also read from the book of the same chapter 27, 38. And Esau said to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me, me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, these are the blessings that Esau will be given by the father after becoming so comfortable with the blessing that he had. And these are the blessings. Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth. That is the natural resources, not the heavenly resources. That was the blessing that Esau was given. Of the dew of heaven from above. But you are sold, you shall live. And you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass when you become restless. Then that you shall break his yoke from your neck. Those are the blessings. Those are the blessings that we get when you make foolish decisions. Those are the blessings when we think God is not seeing us. Those are the blessings that we can get when we negotiate with the enemy. Those are the blessings. But I like this one blessing that Esau was blessed with by the father. After being told we will enjoy the dwellings or the fatness of the earth. That is the natural resources that Esau was given. But remember, Jacob was given everything, even in the dew of heaven. And Isa was, okay, those are the blessings. But this blessing looks like it's a poem. Because if you have nothing, and yet you have a blessing, that is not a blessing to me. But I came to realize it was a blessing. And it was only one blessing of becoming restless. Tell the other person, become restless. Become uncomfortable. This is the blessing that Jacob assured Esau. When you break the yoke from his neck, then you will prosper. When you break the servanthood from Jacob, then you prosper. You know, sometimes we become not restless. We become so comfortable in whatever God has given us. Then we have forgotten 
to let it work in us. And when we let it work in us, it will carry us to another blessing. But Esau decided, I don't need the blessing of a birthright. What is it for anyway? It is nothing helping me. But I am hungry. I need food. I need this stew. I am dying. I don't need it. If I need it, I will come for it. This is all the negotiation we make with the devil. Are you there? Negotiating with the enemy until this minute. Negotiating with the evil until this minute. And yet you think you come back and take whatever that belongs to you. Become lustrous. Become uncomfortable. Be very uncomfortable in whatever that you do. Be very uncomfortable even in your spiritual life. Because when you become uncomfortable, then, then that is when you will walk with God. Become uncomfortable. And that is when you know what God wants to say to you. Say to you. But now it's way. Restlessness. Restlessness is discontent. And when you become discontent, that is now the first necessity that you need to have. And when you have the first necessity, you have to get understanding. When you get the understanding because you become less, you get start, start questioning yourself. Then where, that is where the questions come. Don't you have any blessing? What did I do? How did I, where did I go wrong? How did I reach here? How did I negotiate with the devil? The 99% has taken me the 100%. So I have nothing left. But remember, don't give up. It is not too late yet. But Esau thought this is not a blessing. But surely it sounds like it was not a blessing. Having the natural resources and yet becoming a servant to your brother, to your enemy. That was not a blessing. Becoming or being a warrior and yet you become a servant to your enemy. That was not a blessing. To Esau, that was not. To you, that was not. But when he became restless, when he broke the yoke, what was the yoke? The yoke was to carry the path that Jacob did to him. And he broke the yoke. He came up of himself. He started moving. He came out from the comfort zone. And he started realizing. That is, that is when he started questioning himself. You know, there are, there are so many Christians that are so comfortable. And sometimes I always say, just saw me a comfortable man or a contented man or a woman and I will show you a fool. Just saw me a very comfortable person. She already saw you a fool. And then you go so. Dread a come when I say it. You know you more do you can hear it. You know you go more near kill you more. You know you more do you can hear it. You know you can hear Atedari odware da gwe kana ni muhonoku na ni gumonia mudumu kiwu. Bana isu asifiwe. This message is for us all. The first blessing is gone, the second one is gone. The the trickster has gone with everything and land and by the he ran away. Jacob ran away. For 20 years but he was to come back. If you go to the book of that three Genesis you see them coming back and coming together. He ran away. He didn't even care. What did my brother got? You know, the devil does not care. The devil does not care what he has got. So long as he has got it all, he has to go away because he has finished you. When the devil has done away with you, Ananga Sugri away. Hananga stole in a way. Because there is nothing else that you can do. 
Because there is nothing else he can take from you. Because he has taken it all. Are you still, still listening to the voice of the enemy? Are you still there contented with what has been done? Contented because your business was taken away by somebody. Contented because your husband was taken. Contented because bra bra everybody is like against you. I came to tell you, it's not lost. It's not all done. There is one little blessing. It might not be what Jacob wanted. It might not be what everybody is admiring. But it is a blessing. When it is in the, Lord, in the Lord's hands, it, is, it speaks better and it becomes bigger. More than you also. So, become restless. Become uncomfortable even in your situation. Maybe there is a family. You feel like somebody has done so much for you against you. You feel like you can only live and stay in the same position that they left you. Just sick of the dust and go for that one blessing. A blessing of becoming lustrous for the sake of the Almighty. A blessing that can take you to another effort. A blessing spoken by the Father in heaven can speak more than the blessing of the father of the world. When I saw Sifine, don't you have any other blessing? Can you imagine the sound of Esau? A distress sound. Can't I be blessed again? Can't I wake up again and live again. You feel like you want to die. I came to tell you. I came to encourage you. Don't die in that situation. There is another blessing coming on your way. There is so much in store for you when it is in God's heart. When I used to say, do you feel like you missed it? Okay, you messed up. And there is nothing that you can do. There is something for you. There is a blessing, a little one blessing for you. It might not sound so good. It might sound not so encouraging. It might sound like, that is like a blessing, but it is like a poem. Because how can I become a warrior? And yet I'm a slave. How can I have the natural resources and the answer I must leave? It is not a blessing it looks like. It's not. But in God's heart, there is so much. In God's heart, there is everything. The negotiation was done, yes. But there is still another blessing. You know, when Esau was talking to his father and he said, it's not Jacob, it's not his name Jacob. And he started like, I need to kill him. This is where we are. We as Christians, this is where we are. You need to kill the other person because he took your blessing. Because maybe everything that you had was taken. Everything that you had, you are bitter. But I came to tell you, just take away your mind of killing that person. Move with the rest of blessing that you may be able to break the yoke off the head, of the neck. That when you break the yoke of the enemy's neck, that is when you realize and understand this is where my blessing stands. Mother Niagosho, you know a bowl of soup at the and maybe you are saying, but my husband is dead. My wife is dead. I don't have anything. I don't have the job. 
I don't have a house. I don't look like I have a future. But I came to tell you. Those who are the, new, the news when Esau gave his birthright. But he got the best, the best news when he decided to be discontented and decided to be like the estrus and broke the yoke. Nikuamua dogigo. Unafungua hiyo kamba umefungua. Nikuamua utaamua kufungua kamba ya kiroho ndio uweze kutembea na Yesu. Because we have been yoked with the world and we don't to lose ourselves. We just want to be comfortable. The enemy have already yoked us. But we want to be comfortable. Because we are still negotiating with the 80%. I don't want to go to heaven. And I miss the 90%. Did I tell you you get Be careful. That you may not lose the 90%. And go to heaven. We could have una. You only won 5%. Let us negotiate. In fact, you are not supposed to lose even the five. Because when you go to heaven and meet that, then five percent is missing, that is not hundred percent. That is not hundred percent. But now it's what's if you Isao, we always say he missed it big. He missed it a lot. He lose he lost it, everything he lost. And he did not value the great opportunity. The great things that he had. The great opportunity you have. As a Christian, the great opportunity of knowing Christ, but not walking with Christ. Knowing Christ, but not enjoying Christ. Knowing Christ, but not doing christ like. That is a sow. That was a sow 20 years before he negotiated his, his birthright. And in the book of that three, that is Genesis 33, this is where we finish. We, we, we see Esau. Now he has broken the oak and he has decided, okay, I messed it, I lost it, I died. But I have re listened again. I have woken up. I am not the sow you knew you. I am not the sow you left. I am not the sow that was running after you. I am not the sow that wanted to kill you. That is why you ran away. You know, Jacob was like, I have taken everything from him. Ah, I care for again. More than you also. When I saw if you what are you so he had no shame here to run away. And he knew what he had done. And yet, at the Marisa Miaka Isirini, he had to do a brother. And the Bible says, chapter 3 4. But he saw, no. Now Jacob lifted his eyes, looked, and, the, and there, Esau was coming, and with him were 400 men. <laughs> 400 men. Esau is coming. Jacob is coming after 20 years. Esau is, still, is also coming to meet his brother who has run away because he took away his birthright. He took away his blessing and he ran away. But now he is coming back. Not the Esau that negotiated. Not the Esau with the old story. But Esau with a different story. A story that made him move on because the father told him how to move on. And he is with 400 men. And those are not good news for Jacob. How can somebody come and meet me with 400 soldiers? And yet, this is the person I cheated. Hapa hakuna hakuna amani. Mwanani agosu. Lakini kuna amani. Ni sababu Isau alijua. Alijua siri. Mimi sitaki kufia hapa. Nataka kuamka 
nijue kile kimkononi wa Mungu. And he says, so he divided the children among there, Rachel and the two maid servants. You know, Jacob have now started fearing. And that is why he decided to divide this family. Because he had had Esau had 400 men. And not only men, but soldiers. Are we here? Do you think you are still want to kill that person? Do you think you feel like I need to tear down this person did, that did this to me? This person that took my dignity. Are you there? Do you want to tear that person down? Run from Esau. The 400 soldiers were not to kill David, uh, Jacob. But they have reached a point and they started embracing one another. If you read the whole text of 33, that is Genesis 33, they came to a point and they started talking. And who are these people I, that are with you? These are my family. Imagine somebody who wanted to kill you. Now, in fact, he has changed his tune. He has changed the attitude. And they want to embrace one another. This is where God wants us to be. To embrace our enemies. Not because they did us good first, but God has taught us how to become restless. Because God has taught us how we may be able to become more better with just one blessing. Let us read number 33, oh, 8 and 9, 8, 9 and 11. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. Because Jacob have read the sheep and everything that is, was before him to entice Esau, that he may be able not to remember the anger. And he may be able not to remember what he has done to him. But Esau had forgotten it all along. And that is why he is telling him, what are these for? And Jacob answered, these are for you. Keep them. Because I have found favor in you. May God help us. May we find favor in God's kingdom. May we find favor in God's service. May we find favor as Christians. May we find favor in our families. May we also find favor even in our country. Then Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. I have enough. Somebody who had nothing and now he is declared, I have enough. Tell the other person, I have enough. I came to talk to each and every one of us that we may be able to have enough for us. Not because we have the dew of heaven. Not because we are just, we are warriors. But because we became restless. Because we became uncomfortable. And when Esau was talking about, Jacob was to tell Isaac, Esau, just take because I have favor in you. Because when I see you, I can see the face of God through you. And what you are kumarizana. And mojo, by the way, agekua mezikwa. Kama Jacob hage kimbia. Because when he was presented with all the gifts and the present, he said, I have enough. And Jacob was like, but when I see you, I see the face of God. Oh my God. I see the face of God. Can somebody say that to you? 
When I see you, I see God in you. When I see you because of that one blessing that was left, even if you thought that I died because of what you did, and I meet you, you were my enemy, and when I see you, I can only attest that I have seen God in you. This is what God wants us to be. This is what God wants us to have. Enough. That when we see the other person, you see the face of God. And you remember what God has told you. That you became restless and you broke the yoke from the neck of the enemy. And that is why you have enough and you can testify that you have seen God. Can God help us to understand this small blessing in his hand? Can change our minds? Can change our thinking? That we may be able to say, surely, I have seen God in my brother, in my sister's life, and I don't need anything else because I have enough. I have enough. When I saw a few, I was in the book It was in the book of Matthew. That was in the, our, our call to worship. This is also a woman who was seeking help from Christ himself. And Christ said to him, Then she came to, and worshiped and saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dog, to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crabs which falls from their master's table. Even the little dogs eat the crabs from their master's table. You know, when you eat the crabs, it's not a blessing. Imagine somebody throwing crabs or left of us down. And I'm one at two and chakula and left off and a huna in You have to take it. And this is what Esau did. He took the left of her. That was a left of her from Jacob. It was a left of her, okay. But it was, it was something than nothing. It was a left of her, as people think, it was nothing. But to a sow, it became something. It was the crabs from the master's table, which was meant for the dogs anyway. But it was something. It became enough for me. It became enough for a sow. So it can also become enough for you. If only we accept it gladly. Are we not glad that we have something left of her in the hands of the Almighty? I wish we can be glad because the Almighty has a left offer for me. If God has a left offer for you, you need not to worry. If God has a left offer, of everything that you need, then it's not a left offer. It's a blessing. It is everything when you have it. The left over. Maybe you feel like, I mean, you know, I'm going to go to the And it seems like there are crabs. You walk off yangu, it's like the leftover of the rest that were there before. But it is not the leftover. Because it is in the master's heart. It's not a leftover anointing because it is in the Lord's heart. It's not a leftover healing because it is in the master's heart. Just take this leftover. Go with it. Become less stressed. Become uncomfortable. Don't become a fool. When you become so comfortable, you remain. When you start complaining, because when Esau thought, now Jacob had lain away, he could have started complaining 
and cursing the father also. Or cursing the mother because he is the, she is the one who told Jacob about the plan. That raved over. The crabs made for the dogs. The crabs made maybe for, not for me, not for my class, not for my standard, but it is a left offer. I can take it, I can walk it with it, and it can strengthen me. That is what God wants us to have. God wants us to have that attitude that I can make it even in praise and worship. Even if I am alone, I can make it because I am a left offer in the hands of the Almighty. I can make it in the woman's guild even if I remain single because I am in the hands of the Almighty. I can serve God in this church. It doesn't matter. Even if people think that they will run away on Sunday, I will come here, I will praise, I will worship, I will by there sing the choir. I will become the choir master. I will become the choir me myself. I will become the elder. Remember, Sayo, I will see elder. And I will also become the chair. I will read the Bible and I will preach also. You are not preaching to the tables. You are not preaching to the chairs. You are t preaching with the hands of the Almighty. So don't fear. Don't shy away serving God. Don't just sit and be comfortable on that chair. Just become restless and say, okay, I feel I can join the choir. I feel I can join the group in the church. I feel I can start the ministry of the widowhood. And yet you are sitting there. Those are the left of us. Those are the crabs God wants us to pick and use them. But don't boost. When you pick them and use them and become big and become everything and you got enough of what you wanted, just meet them at their point of need. Meet those who thought, okay, you know, sometimes we say, but when he starts everything that was left in the hand of the Almighty, it will work out. I want to encourage each and every one of us. We got so much to do. We got so much to do. Don't just sit there. Don't become comfortable. Don't feel that you are secure. Like now our nation is like it is shaking. God wants us to have a restless time. Like now the nation is like everybody is running away. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Ah. After Tuesday, what happen? Let us become restless for our nation. Don't wait for another person to pray for our nation or fight for the nation. And yet you are just becoming comfortable with something that you don't be, does not belong to you. You know when it's Jacob ran away, he became comfortable and got married. But Sababu, we are not being told whether Esau got married. But Jacob got to wives. And he was comfortable and he was so proud and nothing that was his. And this is where we are. Kenya is burning up. The nation is burning. The church is burning. The Christians are dying. Everything against God's will has been done. And yet we are so comfortable that God is telling us this morning. Just wake up and become restless and break the yoke of the enemy of the nation that the nation of Kenya can stand again. Break the enemy's yoke and become restless that the Christian fraternity can rise again. The church of Gosen. Break the yoke. Become restless. And tell God this church has to be full with members that fear him in righteousness. That the church of God can stand again. Become less stress. Let us be less stress. And let us be upstanding.
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sometimes you feel like somebody destroyed your life. And you feel like Esau with a, with a defeated attitude. Just decide today that you want to talk and become less stress. You know, Mungu hakukwambia usichoke na hakukwambia uchoke kumuita. Cease not calling upon the Almighty. Become less stress even calling upon God. Waiting upon God. Come, become less stress. Don't be contented. Don't be comfortable being a Christian of Goshen or member of Goshen Church. You know, when you become a member, it's like what is our deed? And when you become a full member, it's also like what is our deed? But when you become a member and a full member and serve God in this church, because this is a call God has called you, a time like this that you may be able to stand in the church. You may be able to stand in the gap of the church and the country and the family. Just do that. You have one blessing that you have. You don't lack any blessing, but you have a blessing. You might be able, you might be having a leftover. Just come out. With that leftover, and God is going to use it. And remember, the main saying, I have just one blessing. There is in the hands of the mighty. It is in the hands of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is in the hands of God. And this a crab is. It's a leftover. It was not a blessing to Jacob, but it will become a blessing to me. So, if you are there, you feel like I was reaching to the end. To the end of the rope. But I came to encourage you. It is not the end of hope yet. If you have God, he still has your left over. You feel like you want to kill somebody because he did this and that. Just forget it. Just stop negotiating with that idea. And start becoming less than I take what is remaining and walk with it. And when you take what is remaining and walk with it when it is in you, it will make you what God wants you to become. Let us pray. Mighty and everlasting Father in heaven, we thank you this morning for thy love and thy care. Thank you, O Jeho thou great Jehovah, because you have reminded us it, even if it is just one blessing, even if it is just a crabs, even if it is just leftovers, O God Almighty, that when it is in your hands, O King in glory, you are going to release it unto us and become better and bigger. Help each and every one of us, O God Almighty, not to remain where they were left by the enemy, but to be, to be restless and break the yoke of Jehovah King in glory, that they may be able to walk and soldier on. We commit ourselves unto thee, that you may be able to have your way in us. Continue to abide in each and every heart, O God, that we may be able to do according to thy will. Help us spiritually, dear Father, where we became discontented, O Father, that we may be able to become listless. Where we have done every negotiation with the enemy. May you help us, O King in glory. That whatever that was left over become a better tomorrow. That even in our narrowness of today, there is a better and a greater tomorrow for us. I thank you and I worship you, Father in heaven, for thy word. Thank you because you you are going to bless it and every one of us to understand it. And this is our prayer of faith. In the mighty name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we do pray and even believe. Uh, thank you, Elder Lucy, uh, for allowing God to use you in such a great way. To share the word of the Lord with us. Uh, mine is to urge us, as we have said time and again, 
that let us not just be hearers of God's word, but let us in the same spirit be doers of the same. Uh, now we are going to go to the part of uh, tithes, offering and thanksgiving led by Elder Mushai. Santi, Deacon. Aha. So today, sasa ni vile to mepanga pale. Na tulisema kuna envelopes. Kama huyu kuchukua tukiingia, tutakuwa tukichukua tukiingia kulingana na vile tuliambiwa. Kwa hivyo ushers na deacons mkuwe pale watu wakiingia mnapata. The same if you want for tithe. Tumeambiwa ukitoka hivi kama huko huko umechukua deacon mmoja pale na asha watasimama pale na envelopes ndio uchukue ukienda naye ndio kuje naye next week kwa nimetayarishwa haya asante sana aha deacon mmoja atakuja wale wako na tile mtaandika pale wale tunapeana na paybill number zetu ni 247247 account for the it on the screen na kuna Uh, offering box ambayo iko hapa Tumepewa na one of our members Na nita As you can see tunaenda vizuri we are upgrading sio from an ordinary chondo to a uh, nice offering basket taita el, elders tukuje hapa tulipewa na the zithe midamos huh? yes tulipewa na the midamos na sasa ningetaka sasa church sasa tu atuombeangi chondo by the way tunaombeanga the service yenye itapatwa na na hii chondo tapatia na warutere na mwenye ametupea dio tunini wengine tutasimama alda tuongoze hapo na tuombe baba katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo tunaingia mbele zako tukirusujudu jina lako takatifu tukikutukuza kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe mbele yako tumesimama tukipokea this offering basket tukikuomba Mungu uitenganishe na basket zingine zote duniani ili hii baba ikaweza kutumika kwa kazi yako tunakuomba uitakaze katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba tunawakabidhi hii familia mikononi mwako ya Mr and Mrs Midamo baba ni kwa sababu alionelea wafanye hii kazi nzuri kwa nyumba yako baba endelea kuangazia na uso wako ukiwabariki siku zote za maisha yao watoto wao wamebarikiwa kazi yao imebarikiwa familia yao yote yao imebarikiwa nendo kawatende mengi na mazuri katika maisha yao wakumbuke haswa wakati huu wanaendelea kujipanga kwa doa yao baba tunaomba mafanikio makubwa na uweze kuifanya siku hiyo siku ya kutukuza jina lako baba tunaomba pia wale wote ambao wako katika kanisa hii ambao wataleta offering zao na kutumia hii shondo uendelee na kuwakumbuka pia kwa boma zao wabariki tunaomba ya kwamba all the promises ambazo umetupromise 
ni kwa sababu ulisema tutakapo kuja kwa nyumba yako mtasikia maombi yetu hata tukiendelea kuleta baraka zile umetubariki ume nazo na harvest zote zile umetubariki nazo na tukiendelea kutimiza maagizo yako endelea na kusikia maombi yetu na kutubariki asante ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe pokea sifa pokea shukurani na ni katika jina kura Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini asante Dikons Dikons wakuje Dikons yes. wote walio hapa ndani waweze kuja hapa mbele All the Dikons who are here nataka dikons waweze kulisivi hii kichondo kwa sababu wao ni machemanzi na wao ndio wana stewards stewardship yote ni yao mnashunga mali ya hii kanisa kupitia kwa hii kichondo nataka mje nyote muipokee kutoka kwangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeipokea hii chondo in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen uh, mnajua vile tulikuwa tumesema mlikuwa mnajua vile tulisema kwa hivyo mtaendelea kufanya hivyo as we continue with the offerings when we are still standing sisi elders hapa na I think the health board hizo vitu ambayo walinunuliwa na zinunua hatu kuzisema hatu kuomba anything so in a very nini there are gadgets za kupima blood pressures sugar temperature vitu kama hizo nafikiri si ndio eh? health board muko hata kama you are not there sasa Elizabeth eh hey, kube kumba tu hapa <laughs> sawa elder in a short ya yeah, tuombe pia tunaweza kusimama tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa wema wako na fadhili zako tunaendelea na kukutukuza ni kwa sababu umeendelea na kutuonekania kama fabria ya Gochen Church baba umeendelea kuaguza watu wako kwa njia tofauti ni kwa sababu umewabariki na wanataka kusema ni asante kwa baraka zako kuna hizi vivaa ambazo ni za kupima pressure baba this pressure machines tunazitakaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunazitenganisha na pressure machines zingine zote na tunasema ya kwamba hizi zitatumika hapa katika hii kanisa na katika kazi yote katika chama cha health board wataondelea inafaa kwa utukufu wa jina lako pokea sifa na shukurani baba tunakabidhi family ambazo ziliweza kujitolea na kufanya hivyo ili Mwenyezi Mungu jina lako liendelee kutukuzwa pokea sifa na shukurani wakati huu tunazipokea katika kanisa na tunasema ni asante. Pokea sifa, pokea shukurani. Na ni katika jina kura Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Asante. Asante. Yes, good. Unaweka tu mtaend. Ah, oh, good. Thank you. So tutasimama tena wenye wako na tithe mnaweza kuja hapa mbele. Thanksgiving. Tafadhali tusimame. Yeah, I know time imeenda lakini Hey, it's mama. Good. It's mama. Eh eh. Kujeni wenye wako na tithe. Ye. 
Yes. Santé. Yeah. Good. Taomba pamoja. Tai dote. So. Aba father, tunaoba. Aba father, we come before you once again tunakushukuru kwa yote and especially for the gift of life and also the gift about it tupatia of salvation your only begotten son when you kufa akafufuka so that we have eternal life we thank you wewe umeendanisha na sisi tunakushukuru even as we continue as the word imetuambia we become less stressed we are not very comfortable kwa kila kitu lakini kijua hivyo so that lord tuna change and uh, tunafanya kulingana na mapenzi yako ni asante for these families ambao wamesimama wako na tithe mungu akumbuke kumbuke hata na, na familia zao and uh, their jobs bahali wanatoa pesa and uh, hii part of their tithe tunakushukuru na tunajua wewe utawakumbuka even uh, wengine wambao tumepeana our offering and any other thanksgiving tunaomba Mungu hata na sisi utukumbuke we pray and we know that hata tukimaliza tukienda nyumbani taendanisha na sisi that you are going to bless each one of us and that lord tunajua na tumetuambia one blessing from you is enough na tunajua that lord utatu bless na that lord tukirudi hapa next week tutasema wewe ni bwana na sasa mungu tunasema ni asante for everything because we pray this believing and trusting in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen tawaka pale wengine our deacon is there tulete kujeni kwa sana so uh, remember also tuko na pledges ambao tulifanya wenye tulifanya wenye mulifanya za kununua mixer pale na tukaandika makaratasi tukapeana our pledges some of us have redeemed na i know tunakushukuru over 70000 hizo zimepokewa now it is remaining ambao a few na deadline tulisema ni leo si ndio kwa hivyo eh tunamuona mbogo pale mbogo waonyeshe huyu kama uko na the the pledge ungetaka ku redeem cash money mbogo kuja hapa tutampatia mbogo siju kama mtu kona eh kama huna umepeana kwa tithe uh, kwa pay bill number kama tuko na tithe i mean uh, the pledge kwa pay bill number uandike na u send that message to beth beth kwa wapi huyo huyo dio beth kama huna ukumbuki namba ya beth elders dio ifike na leo dio mwi leo dio deadline kunya mwenye ako naye alete 
Haya, boko ndio huyu. Aha. Sawa. So make sure tumepeana before end of today. Tusimame tena vile tumesimama. Aba Father, we thank you once again katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We have come to the end of the first service. I, who was leading the service, am Lewis Kimadi. I'm born again this morning. My name to wish us a wonderful week ahead. May the Lord bless you. In whatever you do, shall you be fruitful. And uh, we can now stand so that we can have uh, the present worship giving us a song as we take the Bible back to the vestry. Oh, to